Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your April 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs. Why did they do this? So we're going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of. We're going to see what they did to you, and then we'll finish off the race to see why they did it. Apply this to your own unique situation. You, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo here. Tell me about Virgo. The person that Virgo is dealing with or thinking of. What did this person do to Virgo? What does this person do to Virgo? What does this person do to Virgo? For April 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Look at the Ace of Swords. Look at the Seven of Wands. The Chariot. That's too many. Hold on one sec. That's too many. The sun, the lovers. I, you know, I feel like this person was trying to, you know, I feel like you guys have or had an undeniable connection. And I feel like with the sun, the wands, and the uh, ace of swords here, I feel like this person was trying to resist it or not accept it. Okay, uh, because I feel like, you know, I do feel like in a way, I feel like your connection between you and your person was moving in the right direction here. Okay, I do feel like there was happiness here. You know, I do feel like, you know, you guys were having a good time. Things were moving forward here. But for some reason, I feel like this person couldn't accept that you guys had this undeniable connection, this intense, this very intense connection here, this overwhelmingly intense connection. And I feel like it could have scared this person away or that this person never felt this way towards somebody before. And this is kind of like a new experience for this person. And I just feel like this person was, you know, just scared. Um, let's see. The Lover's Gemini energy, the Chariot Cancer energy, the Sun Leo energy. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Page of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be dealing with the Water sign here. The Sun, the Wands. The Six of Pentacles here, and the Justice card. You know, one, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, I do feel like this could also be a same-sex couple. It doesn't have to be. Um, you know, I just feel like this person had a hard time accepting the truth. I feel like, you know, when things started to get really intense or more intense, I feel like this person started to pull their energy back. Libra energy here with the Justice card, the Chariot. Seven of Cups, the Sun, and the Knight of Swords. You know, I feel like they were trying to test themselves. They started to explore other options here to see if they could find a similar connection here. So it's kind of like almost like an energy of like they were trying to replace you, but they couldn't replace you. Yeah, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Lovers here. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Tell me about the Ten of Wands. And the four of pentacles here yeah this person definitely pulled their energy back you guys have some sort of soul contract here a very intense connection i wouldn't be surprised if it was a past life soulmate connection here too uh four of pentacles here yeah this person was definitely trying to replace you and i feel like this person perhaps couldn't yeah let's see um, why did this person do this to Virgo? Why did this person do this to Virgo for um, April 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Why did this person do this for, to Virgo? Why did this person do this to Virgo? Why did this person do this to Virgo? And the Six of Cups here. Yeah, I do feel like maybe there's, there's a past life soulmate connection here. Six of Pentacles. You might have known this person for a long time, but I, I just feel like, you know, I, I just feel like this person was trying to 
slow down the relationship or slow down the progress here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person was wasting your time here too. You know, it just seems like this person was trying to push you away. Instead of like maybe telling you honestly, like, you know what, it's moving a little quick. I just want to slow this down a little bit, Virgo. Uh, this person went ahead and did other, did other things. You know, if you're separated from this person here, I do see this coming back together here. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Death card. Yeah, I do see, you know, I see more so. I don't really, like, you know, I mean, it, it could seem like, yeah, this can't end. But I also feel like this can be a transformative uh, opportunity for you guys to, you know, take things to the next level here. Okay, the Ten of Cups here and the, uh, uh, the Death card here, Scorpio Energy. All right, we have the Tower here, Aries Scorpio Energy. And the Hangman here, Piscean Energy. This person's de definitely going to experience some sort of major thunder shock here. Yeah, I, I do feel like this person's about to be enlightened by this whole situation. Yeah, because there is a sense of like, if you guys are separated, there is a sense of coming back together and really going through like a major, major transformation here between you and your person here. So um, the Death card, Scorpio energy, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, the Hangman, Piscean energy here. What else do we have? So I'm going to have the Six of Cups. Oh, Six of Cups here, the Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Mm. You know, this is so interesting. We have so many pages here. I just feel like this person that you were dealing with was just lacked a lot of emotional intelligence. One of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, you might have felt like this person was doing something behind your back. You know, this person definitely was. They could have, they could have been communicating with an ex here too. You know what? The thing is, look at that. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're being asked to trust the divine here. You know, because if you really want this to come together, I, I see this coming together. I see this transforming. I see you guys evolving from this experience here. Uh, both of you guys. Uh, tell me about the death card. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person loves you. Nine of Wands. The Hangman. And the Four of Swords. Uh, yeah, this person does love you. Yeah, this person does love you. It just seems like this person just is trying to test themselves, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah, they. I, I feel like they just want to make sure that you are not the only one that they feel this towards. It's kind of like a lack of acceptance, you know what I mean? The Nine of Wands here and the Four of Swords here. It's almost the energy of like, damn, I they, like, they're, they're going to feel like they messed this up. But there is a sense of coming together. But, you know, at the end of the day, you have free will. You could choose to take this person back or not. And, you know, just because it's saying that, you know, if this can't come together, it doesn't mean that you, could, you, 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 you know, you have to take this person back, right? So, um, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, um, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.